Welcome to another video from the fanpub.com. I've got Sean with me again, how are you? Really good to be back, yes, bye now. Uh, today we're talking about the three different, the main three types of um, waiver wire uh, choices that you can have in your league. And which and, one and are we going to discuss for this video? Uh, this time, the first one we're going to talk about is the inverse order of standing. So oh, we had you, a, lot of, a lot of interesting things to talk about with this one, yes, okay. So we need to try and explain that. Should you want me to go ahead first? Yeah, yeah, you go ahead. Okay, so generally how it works is if you start badly, uh, you generally get to get a, a, a waiver wire, a high waiver wire pick. So you well, it, get it basically it rewards the worst team to get the first on each pick, week to get a pick, uh, a, a waiver wire pickup. The so problem the, problem with this um, is, in theory, it sounds very good. It, it's a fair, it's a fair way of making the league sort of. Eventually paritable because if you're having a bad start, it can give you a number of picks to try and rebalance the books. Well, I guess the counter argument is if you're playing dynasty against people, why do you, you want it to? Why do you want it to be fair? Why do you want it to be you know close? Why should the worst teams get rewarded? That, that's one of the problems. The other thing as well is it, it also sometimes rewards the wrong way. So, for example, say you've got actually got a very good team, uh, but started badly because of no thought of your own, just a bit of bad luck. Um, but you're now rewarded with a high waiver pick as well. So suddenly you've got a good team who just started badly because of a couple of bad matchups, but you're actually going to do well in the end when you look back. Now it gets a high pick as well. So suddenly you are actually rewarded for. It actually rewards people who, who draft badly. So if they draft badly, they draft a poor team. Yeah, then they get, and then they get rewarded. Then they with, get multiple picks one after. Someone keep. gets injured the first week and they get rewarded by with a running back one to get them out of jail. Get them out of jail. Is that, is that fair? Do you think? Not my favourite way of doing it. And the other thing as well is we just discussed the flip side where you can have actually a good team that gets rewarded because they started badly, so they get a reward as well. And equally, you can have a team that actually does okay, like a one-one start. And never gets a high priority pick, but actually is in a lot of trouble because maybe they've got players that got injured, they got a lucky result. Yeah, so they've got the teams that are better and above them, and they've got the teams, teams that are, are improving, are improving behind them. because they're getting the better picks. And they actually are the team that's most needing, but the system doesn't even account for that because, you know, actually they don't care that you've lost your number one running so back. So it's okay for a friendly right family league where. Yeah, you know, yeah, fun league, it's okay. You want it to be everyone to be close, but if you're playing a competitive league, I don't think. Out of the three systems, I always find this one, I don't know if you'd agree, I, this is the one that always creates the most amount of controversy in the yeah. leagues I've been involved. In and it generally upsets it's people. It's a bit nicey nicey for me. I like competitiveness yeah. in my fantasy. League. I think in a, as you say, a family or a friendly, fun league where there's no money at stake and things like that, I think it's fine. You want people down the I want people down the bottom to be suffering if they pick badly, not get rewarded. You don't want to be rewarded. I want the misery to be piled on them. Yeah, I agree. I, I do agree. I, I don't want. I don't want people to have a get out of jail free card every single week until they get better. No, I mean I agree with you. I, I you know, you, ba- you drafted badly. You didn't do very well. You, you have to pay the price. You have to pay the price. You shouldn't have the reward. You, that's the way I feel about it. It is tough, but that's fantasy. Fantasy is meant to be tough. It's, it is a tough, brutal sport. If you're in a friendly league where you don't mind so much, then it's, it's fine. fine. Yeah. It's perfectly fine. But in the way we've looked at it, this is the one we... Not our favourite. Let's put it that way. No, but that's basically how it works. Uh, the team with the worst record each week gets the first pick of the uh, players on the way. Also, board. very subjective, isn't it? Also, very subjective. Well, it's done on, on record and points. Yeah. Isn't it? Record so. and points, and it doesn't always reflect the problem. So, it, worth remembering that. Okay, well, well um, please like, subscribe, and you know, smash, you know, smash the thumbs up for us. Really helps us out. And uh, see you next time. That was uh, the waiver inverse order of standing. Thanks for listening.